Hey Code Crew, it's Chris here. So on the screen, you're going to see some footage of me testing out a couple of different Instagram related apps on the App Store. Um, but I wanted just to show something on the screen while I talk so that it's more interesting. Essentially, it's been a few weeks since I updated you guys on the progress of this case study and we have made some progress. So in this video, I wanted to show you what the app idea is and uh, how we went about sort of validating the idea, doing our App Store research as well as our progress so far. So let's start with what the app idea is. It's an app to check out other people's Instagram profiles and get some insights on what's working for them. So the idea for this app came out of our own um, needs because I remember when I first started uh, the Code with Chris Instagram account, uh, one of the things I did was to scope out other people's profiles in the space and sort of see what they were posting and what was working for them, what sort of hashtags they used. And so uh, this app is going to do that automatically. So that started out as an idea. In addition to identifying that as something I needed, uh, I was also heavily influenced by uh, a recent podcast episode that I listened to from Sub Club. It's a podcast by Revenue Cat. And in particular, I'm referring to episode six with Zach. He has a couple of Instagram related apps that I've used before and listening to this podcast and how he came about doing those apps. And it really inspired me to think about how to create apps as a product rather than, you know, our initial idea of creating essentially a, a business. And so I highly recommend you check out this episode six of the Sub Club podcast if you're interested. Um, but in short, listening to this episode sort of um, made me think about Instagram first and if there were uh, if there was space for another Instagram related app. So taking that idea that I had, um, the next thing that we did was to check out the Instagram API and see what sort of data we could get from there. So we started by looking at the Instagram graph API and they actually have two different APIs, a basic display API and a graph API. The basic display API, you can get basic information about users and their images, videos, and albums. But the graph API is more for like business related apps and professional apps. And so uh, this one actually has an endpoint that we were, uh, we thought we could use, uh, such as this one, getting basic data about other Instagram business users and creators. The limitation, however, is that that profile has to be a business profile or business account. That doesn't mean that they have to be a business. Um, in, on Instagram, you can turn your account into a business account, which gives you additional metrics and stuff like that. So uh, the person you're looking up has to have, um, have has to have turned their account into a business account. But you can get some useful information from here, such as um, their follower account, their media account, and you know details about their media. So we decided to go with this endpoint and see what data we could get. Uh, we started playing around with it, uh, creating a sample Xcode project and making the call to the API and getting the data back and then running some computations on it. And, and things looked promising. The next thing we did was we went on the App Store and I started looking at the top charts of the social media um, charts in the App Store and downloading some of the apps and playing with it. What I noticed was that most of those Instagram related apps um, they all pretty much did the same thing, which was um, look at your own profile, see who uh, unfollowed you, see who blocked you and stuff like that. And I didn't really see apps related to, you know, looking at insights for other people's profiles. And I found that kind of strange. And that could be a red flag, might mean that nobody wants the app idea that, <laughs> that we are trying to do right now. Uh, or it could mean that it's just a gap, right? Uh, Next, we use some tools like Sensor Tower and App Annie to take a look at these apps and how they're doing. And we found out that, you know, these sort of apps get a lot of downloads and people are willing to spend money on them. And that is encouraging. So knowing all of that, um, we decided to push forward, especially because we felt like we could get this app done relatively quickly. I mean, it's not a super complex app, right? You're just making a single call to this endpoint. You're getting the data back and you're just running some computations and then throwing it on the screen. So we thought it's worth a try. It's not too much investment. 
So in terms of development, we sort of had two streams going on. One stream was development where we were checking out the Instagram API and working with that, getting the data, crunching the metrics, getting that ready. On the other hand, we were also trying to design how that profile analytics screen would look like. So here are some uh, wireframes. We're still working on sort of placement and layout of the information, how we can convey that data clearly at a glance. Um, so while we lock, once we lock this down, we can then um, display the information in that fashion, and then we can proceed with designing, or, you know, colors, animations, that sort of thing, and the user journey. Right, we haven't really talked about the user flow through all the screens of the app. We were just focused on this uh, this one screen, the profile view. So next, I want to show you inside Xcode what we have. All right, so here's our Xcode project and what we've got so far. Um, because we haven't locked down those wireframes yet, all we're doing is just throwing that data and all of these metrics on the screen, as you can see. And we've also added a little, a little user management part so that we can look at different profiles, although ultimately we haven't talked about that user journey. So what you see here in terms of you know, editing, adding, removing profiles, this is all um, up in the air. Um, in terms of development, we, at this point, I think we are sort of stalled because we need to lock down how things will look um, before we can proceed. We have most of the plumbing and all of the, you know, wiring for working with the Instagram API and computing the metrics. We are now um, taking a look at adding unit tests to our project as well as improving the efficiency for the app so that you know we're caching data um, and we're not recomputing things and making more API calls than necessary. So that's sort of what's going on with the app. It's you know I, I feel like it's really good progress for the past two weeks and uh, we still have some things to work out for the access token because when you make these API calls uh, you need to pass through a, an access token. And most of the apps that I saw in the app store, they have the people log in to Instagram, into their Instagram account and use that access token. I don't know if we're actually going to have to do that. So that's something that we're going to explore next week. All right. So I hope that was interesting to you. I'll try to do one of these update videos once a week at the end of the week so that you can um, follow along on the progress. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.